this is my second DIY solar project. It's a manual hybrid again, meaning there is a grid tie inverter, which is syncs with the utility, and a off-grid convert off-grid inverter, which is used normally when there's outages like brownouts. So this is a grid tie inverter with limiter. So it's a special grid tie produced by Mass Power. Uh, you could find it at ChineseGrid.com. Uh, this the limiter was designed in cooperation with Mass Power by Hertz Blaster X. Uh, so basically, what happens is the limiter monitors your house's load through a clamp sensor. So that's a clamp sensor connected to the house's main line, and then it controls the grid tie with limiter through the signal cable so the grid tie doesn't overproduce power and therefore export power to the grid or utility so basically it limits the grid tie from overproducing so there's no export this grid tie is can be controlled through the timer I placed it so during the night I could power this grid tie by batteries because its input voltage is from I think 44 volts to about 90 volts so the 48 volt battery bank is compatible to with this so at night I could set a timer on how much power I only need to use or I could set the relay to automatically cut it off based on the voltage of the battery using the charge controller as a low voltage disconnect so currently we're only using about 8.5 watts from the utility so it varies the inverter is only producing about there you go 600 500 watts right now so as you can see it's trying to match up the utility power there you go so let me show you what's the setup outside I'm currently only using 2,000 watts. That's eight pieces of uh, 250 watt polycrystalline solar panels by Canadian Solar. <coughs> so I've separated it into four strings, basically. So that's one pan, two panels is in series. This gives me 60 volts. Two panels, two panels in series, 60 volts. Two panels in six series. 60 and 60 volts so right now the setup is that two of the night switches are on the right that means uh, 60 volts 60 volts that's 1000 watts going into the grid tie inverter so that's 1000 watts going to the grid tie inverter and going to the left that's 60 volts 60 volts but this time it's in series to maximize this solar charge controller which is an MPPT it operates better at a higher voltage especially when it's cloudy so this gives me 120 volts going down to the charge controller that's 1000 watts charging the battery bank I'm using eight pieces of Trojan T105 RE batteries so that's RE for renew renewable energy this is at 6 volts 225 ampere R each times 8 that's 48 volt battery bank that gives me about 10,800 watt hours of power um, that's about 100% DOD but we only plan to use 30% DOD to maximize the life of the batteries to about 7.4 years so currently the charge controller it's almost fully charged at 12.22 p.m. see it's almost 96% state of charge fully charged it's currently boosting so it's only getting 246 watts from the 1000 watt panels. It has already generated 3.8 kilowatts of power since this morning. There you go. If I wanted to fast charge the batteries, I could simply switch those knife switches to the left. And this will give me 2000 watts going to the charge controller. Once the batteries are full, I can simply switch it to the right and give all those 2000 watts to the grid tie at day during the night 
I could power the grid die through batteries just by simply throwing the switch to the right and that is actually connected to the batteries so this gives me a lot of flexibility on what setup I want to use thanks for viewing